in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister we the carmelite fathers at the infant jesus shrine mangalore india warmly greet you and welcome you to carmel light reflection on god's word it's the 29th of january monday of the fourth week in ordinary time as we are going to listen to the reading let's prepare ourselves spending few moments in silence Today, let's take the first reading, a reading from the second book of Samuel, chapter 15, verses 13 to 14, then 30th verse, chapter 16, verses 5 to 13. If you have the Carmel Light Bible Diary published by us. Please refer the reading. In those days, a messenger came to David saying, The hearts of the men of Israel have gone after Absalom. Then David said to all his servants who were with him at Jerusalem, Arise, and let us flee, or else there will be no escape for us from Absalom. Go in haste, let he overtake us quickly, and bring down evil upon us, and strike the city with the edge of the sword. But David went up the ascent of the Mount of Olives, Weeping as he went, barefoot and with his head covered. And all the people who were with him covered their heads, and they went up, weeping as they went. When King David came to Bahurim, there came out a man of the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shemai the son of Gera. As he came, he cursed continually. And he threw stones at David and at all the servants of King David. And all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. And Shemai said as he cursed, Be gone, be gone, you man of blood, you worthless fellow. The Lord has avenged upon you all the blood of the house of Saul, in whose place you have reigned. And the Lord has given the kingdom into the hand of your son Absalom. See, your ruin is on you, for you are a man of blood. Then Abishai, the son of Zerui, said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over and take off his head. But the king said, What have I to do with you, you sons of Zerui? If he is cursing because the Lord has said to him, Curse David, who then shall say, Why have you done so? And David said to Abishai and to all his servants, 
behold my own son seeks my life how much more now this benjaminite let him alone and let him curse for the lord has bidden him it may be that the lord will look upon my affliction and that the lord will repay me with good for this cursing of me today so david and his men went on the road the word of the lord thanks be to god brothers and sisters king david is considered to be a man after god's own heart he was brave he was loyal and he was blessed along the way both in talent and victory against his enemies but today's reading shows a person who is on a low point in his life we find him living jerusalem because his son absalom is plotting to kill him his own son is plotting to kill him david experiences troubles the fruit of his sin but we see a david who thanks god every day no matter the circumstances he was a man just like us who sinned on a regular basis but despite his sin he always loved god and sought to repent of those sins he is a role model for all of us sinners who need to repent earnestly Now, my dear friends, I would like to focus on today's gospel reading. Please read for yourself Mark chapter five, verses one to twenty. It's there in the Bible diary. You will read it, right? Read now. aligning the theme of sin with the story of the man in today's gospel where jesus expels a legion of demons from him we find a similar image the man has been alienated from the people of his of the town because he is possessed and does harm to himself and others even chains cannot contain him the man shows vividly how ugly our lives become with sin we have a very good visual of how sin can destroy us and a very good visual of how forgiveness through jesus restores our life but friends jesus is more powerful than the legion of demons that have taken up residence in the man's life in the gospel we can believe he is more powerful than any sin we might have committed the man is urged to reunite with his family and tell all about the wonders jesus worked in his life my dear friends let us use this message to make a good examination of our own conscience beg for forgiveness through confession and begin to walk in the light of christ let us pray today in the konkani diary you find 
Jocelyn Jane Tillis from Kulshekar and Reverend Father Anil Vegas, Carmelite priest, celebrating their birthday. We wish them happy birthday and pray for God's blessings on them. And also we pray for the departed soul of Christine Was from Hirgan Karkat. Let's recall to our own mind, our own personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, make me aware of all that is holding me back from your love. May I experience healing through a true repentance in these areas of my life so that I may become a person after your own heart. Amen. Pray for God's blessing, my dear friends. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Stephen Pereira, Carmelite priest. And my dear friends, don't forget to share this audio with your friends and contacts. May their lives be touched by the Word of God. And if you have any prayer requests or if you would like to receive this audio directly from our hand because some of them are them some of them were saying for the some time i don't receive the audio from the person who sends me so it will be grateful that if you can send them directly if that is the case you can send your full name and place to our whatsapp number and our number is 91 that is the code 94812632299 94812632299 and my dear friends wish you a great day day filled with god's blessings thank you